Alrighty, so we are making some progress. See, I started playing around with some of the wiring in here. So we got the fuse panel mounted. Um, so I need to probably do some tweaking to it, but oh, sorry. But um, it's there, it's gonna vibrate a bit, so I'm gonna have to stabilize it a little more, but um, that gets it in for now. Uh, so I'm currently just playing around with uh, one of these connectors I had pre uh, pre run. Um, so here's the big spool for the power windows on the passenger side, and this one is fed up into the headlight bucket for the uh, passenger side uh, halos that I'm putting in. So they are back here. So I'm not sure if I'm going to keep that big eyelid, but I had it. So um, so I'm just working on getting that all wired in. Um, Got my notes, got my new H4 plugs. I don't see them, but uh, yeah. So I am just going to make sense of my notes and see how it's actually going to work here and see what I can do. Thanks. So here's the new uh, setup for the Raspberry Pi. Uh, so it's mounted all inside this dash cluster, uh, which you'll see in the next video of me installing it a bit. Um, but yeah, there's a screen controller, there's a Raspberry Pi, there's my uh, push button start uh, installed there. Um, you can see the back side of the switches, um, but everything should be pretty tidy. I've got it all into uh, one harness, so we'll see how it works. All right, project update time. Um, so yeah, just working on getting things mounted in the bus, uh, playing around with some different setups. Um, but this is kind of what I'm looking at going for. So uh, here's the steering wheel in place. Um, so I mean, this is kind of my viewing angle. So there's maybe a bit is cut off, but not much. I think that's just the Volkswagen logo is going to be up there. So yeah, I mean, everything's going to be reachable from the driver's seat. All the switches will be there. Um, I just have this for now for my glow, so I'll just apply that uh, for glow before I start it up. Um, yeah, so currently it's just bolted in the bottom here. I have a, a fastener down here holding the dash in, and an additional one down over here. Um, so I gotta figure out a system to mount it from the top. I'm thinking of getting a little L bracket, which I've misplaced. Uh, anyways, I'm thinking of getting a little L bracket up there. Um, to basically connect into here for now um i'm trying to avoid like cutting into here i could always put like a nut cert in there but yeah. just trying to avoid it for now it's all scratched up and stuff over <laughs> from all my different dash iterations anyways so it's not as nice as it used to look unfortunately so um but yeah i think at this point everything seems fitted where I want it. I just have to kind of solidify things. I gotta clean up the uh, surround here, make like a, you know, uh, a bezel or whatever you call it. I don't know. Um, so we'll see how that works out. But I mean, it'd be nice to have a 3D printer, which I don't have. Um, I have access to one at work maybe, so. But I'll just make it up out of paper. I've got some kind of uh, black foam board. Maybe I'll try that first and, and see what I can do. Um, yeah, so I extended all the leads, that's all the, uh, the switches, um, I had it set up differently before, uh, so I had to kind of get it extended. Um, I'm gonna have to plumb it in down, Oops. have to plumb it in down here, uh, you can see all the connectors down there. I do have to re-pin a lot of these, uh, because I just changed direction after, after I got everything installed, of course, um, you know, when I designed my wiring harness, it was on my kitchen table at my my suite. Um, you know, I'm here now with the bus, and things are just different. So, uh, <laughs> just kind of two steps forward, one step back, but uh, making progress. Um, so, next step now is to get the fuse panel out. Um, I'm gonna pull the fuse panel, um, which is just a couple bolts. Uh, pull the dash out again, um, and then I can kind of. I think I'm just going to leave the length on this um, so I can run it down behind the dash so it'll go behind here behind the fuse panel and it'll just hang down below so I, I think I'll probably keep most of the length um, give me some more flexibility in the future uh, I found the bracket 
So this is kind of what I'm thinking up here somewhere. Um, not quite like that, but you know, something prettier. Um, my thought is eventually I'll recover this whole thing, um, probably with upholstery, um, but we'll see. Uh, priority is just kind of getting it solid mounted. Um, got my little push button start here. I have to figure out what I'm going to do with this, whether I just pull it and remove it. Um, obviously it's got the steering wheel lock function, so, um, but it's going to be useless as a starting ignition now. Um, it's not even going to be wired in, it's just going to be hanging free. So, anyways, uh, that's kind of my update for now. Um, so I'm just kind of plugging away on the electronics right now. Uh, I do need to, unfortunately, pull that whole main loom there. It's not long enough on this end. It's all hanging out the end of the motor. Um, I can show you. Why don't I show you? So I do have, um, you know, my new seats are in there, so that's sweet. Um, but yeah, if you look at the back here, um, yeah, it's all hanging out here. So there's a ton of extra length on the back, and I need to pull that through more. So that's pretty annoying, but uh, <laughs> get around to it eventually. Got my solar panel out here right now. Got some sunshine. Getting a few amps on the controller there. Yeah, that's the update for now. Thanks, guys. So, here's uh, just a shot of the harness, pretty much done for the dash cluster. Um, I've got to terminate a few more wires on here, but it's all done now. Um, there's the uh, all labeled. I filled out that whole 16 pin plug, so it should just be two plugs to, to connect it. Um, there's the three switches for the dash, as well as the uh, Raspberry Pi power, which is right there. So yeah, um, that's pretty much it for my video today, guys. Um, hopefully I'll have some more updates soon. I want to get the uh, fuse panel installed and wired in and start testing some things. So I'll definitely film that and see if there's any fire. So thanks again. Uh, check back soon. Mighty love,